morning front friends now it is a piece of additional video um, that is in relation to no particular job at the moment but it's something I said I'd do on a, on a guitar I'm doing on a Bernie Les Paul I'm having to back bend the neck or basically uh, there is relief in the neck and I need to get it straight with the truss rod really loose but I've still got relief in there I need to get it straight so I'm going to show this part of video not using that guitar because that's a way um, I'm going to use a different guitar, I'm going to use a Gibson Les Paul Custom to show how we put a little back bend in a neck on a Les Paul. Now it's obviously a set neck, glued in neck. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to somehow um, get it all clamped up and get something, a block of wood underneath where we need to put the bend. Because if we neck straight we need to put some back bend in there. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it and what I first do is you will understand a neck, we're a neck straight on a Les Paul, the body bends off. So what we do is we build up some height using a couple of T-tiles here. I've got one folded over quite a few times and then one folded out, just folded over place there. It's flat, all the flat bits there. And when the guitar's like that, it's going to sit comfortably. I also put a cloth at the end of the table. The guitar itself is not going to hit that. That's just there in case we knock it. And here you'll see I have a block built up with quite a few business cards and I'm going to show you how we rest the guitar. Now I'm not going to actually do it on this guitar, I'm just going to show you how it is done. So we see, with a Les Paul, we have a straight neck and the body bends back. So that bend of the body, this part here which we're going to clamp, needs to go there. We need to get right up to the edge of the table, the neck running along the length of the table there. Now that is resting on there really good, but when we press that over there this part of the body is not touching that part of the table. It's now in the air, it's now risen above, you see we can move that easily. And this is where we're going to put the bend between the 6th and 7th fret. Right about here. So what we're going to do is, we're going to let that rest. We are going to take a steel strip of metal. I bought these just for this purpose, I've got two of these, I've got one 30 centimetre, 30 millimetres wide and one 25 millimetres wide. And what this enables us to do is to get some heat in the fret. So I'm going to use the wider one. We get some heat in the fret. So what I'm going to do is first need to clamp here, not tight, but we're going to put the bend there. Probably the bend even here, just there. So we've got that laid on the neck. I'll explain why that's there in a moment. We're going to take a regular F clamp. This is not going to be tight, it's not holding anything. This is just going to... We're not putting any great pressure on here. All we're going to do is just hold this over. This is just going to hold that rod in place. And there you go, we're good there, we're good there. And that's it. All we're going to do is just hold. That's absolutely fine there. And where we need to put the bend is here. Right. That's already clamped on there now. And you'll now see we'll just take a regular G clamp, in this case a six inch one. And you will see in a moment how this is going to work. Now we keep we, you must have a frets on when you do this, because if you don't have the frets on the board, this is going to get hot and it's going to melt the inlays. How, how do I know that? I've done it before. And there you go, we're going to bring that to the side. And that's it. And all we're going to do is and you see we put some bend in there. Now to prove we've got some bend in there, I will show you where we are. Wait, well, I can't because of the knot. I can do it with the But you see now, I've got a little bit of bend in that neck. But what I'm going to do is Bend it down a little, and what we take, what we do then is we'll take a regular clothes iron. This is one I, I, I particularly use, just this is an old one. It's not even very good. Costs about six euros. What we we'll do is turn it on full heat, turn the steam off. We have it plugged in, and all we're going to do is we are going to rest it on there, let it heat up, and the wood is going to get hot. And all we're going to need to do is just clamp it back like so. And that's it, we're going to leave it for, I don't know, 15-20 minutes. Let get some heat in there, probably get some heat in here. And what we'll do is we'll keep letting off the clamp. We'll let off the clamp and we'll keep testing the neck. We'll take something. 
And all we need to do is just check here. Yeah, we use this as a level checker. Get the notch over there, and you can see, you know, we've got relief in there again. Now what we'll do is we'll just bend that again and just keep doing it until we get some bend in there. That is how I get some back bow in a guitar neck. Hope you find this useful. Be good, see you soon.